you. What up? All right. Um, so we got another Bill Burr club. Hmm. Okay. Okay. My man, BB. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Can't get enough of this dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Man. Bill Burr. Everything. Hilarious. Yeah. Everything. Um, I think he's legitimately like right now. He's legitimately one of the greatest comedians ever. Yeah, man. I I, I heard uh, Dave Chappelle gave some major props to uh, to Bill Burr. So I mean, definitely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. You know, what I mean, another one of my favorite comedians. But, oh, Dave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bill wrote for Dave on the exactly. Chappelle show. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They yeah. know each other. Yeah, man. He was very similar. Oh, very, very. <laughs> yeah, man. But, but what we got? What we got? Uh, this is Bill Burr losing your shit. <laughs> losing your shit. Bill Burr losing your yeah, shit. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Now he ain't, he ain't going off punching muffins or nothing like that, is he? I don't. That's yeah. a prime example of losing <laughs> your shit. <laughs> Being somewhere you don't want to be. Yeah, you know what I mean. Or is it like uh, Is it like the other losing your shit? Cause you'd be like, yeah. lost his keys or some shit. Like yeah, lost losing them. your shit. Losing your shit. Yeah, you could just be losing your. You shit. You just lost your shit. Like where the fuck my shit at? My yeah. shit's gone. I lost <laughs> my shit. Yeah. <laughs> but know. you know, Bill Burry's probably talking about going off on something. Most likely losing it. Most likely. Let's go. All right, here we go. Being sober. That's brutal, dude. You have no idea how long a year is until you're stone sober. That's <laughs> oh, fucking brutal. So I'm learning how to fix shit, right? My girlfriend doesn't <laughs> like it because she says I have a temper. Yeah. You know? She's like, you know, it's just not that you're trying to fix things. It's that you get frustrated, you punch the wall, the dog starts shaking. I just don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> you know, you're a comedian. You should tell jokes. He's a plumber. He should plumb, right? <laughs> Trying to explain to her that losing your shit is part of the process of fixing something. Right? Everybody does that. You buy, right? Yeah. You buy something at Ikea, you get halfway through putting it together, you're like, dude, where the fuck is the fucking other? <laughs> well, honey, I didn't see it. Uh, I didn't yeah. see it. Why? You want to put it together? You want, what did you put it together? You put it together, it's fucking part of the board piece of fucking shit. The structures make no sense. I will buy another one. I will buy another one. I'll buy fucking five and smash four if I want to. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, go to your mothers. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what story are you going to tell? This one, right? That's part of how I pay all the fucking bills, right? How was that on the call for? I was that uncalled for. I wasn't even talking to you. I was talking to the fucking thing. I was talking to the fucking thing. I know what I said. I know what I said, okay? You don't need to tell me. I know what I said, yes. I am working on it. I am working on it, all right? Look, look, you think I want to be this guy? You think I want to be the guy who flips out about the fucking tables? I don't, okay? This isn't who I am. This is who I became, all right? I'm working through this shit. You don't have to speak, well, you do shit too, okay? You do shit too. Well, I thought you were going to your mother's! <laughs> That's brutal. I ain't having a temper, man, it's fucking embarrassing. You know? I don't know, I'm sick of women trying to, every girl I have a date's always trying to fix me. It gets annoying after a while, you know? Like you're not out of your mind with all your fucking shoes. Right, what is that all about? I'm sick of this hypothetical perfect guy. Go get him. Go down to Applebee's. <laughs> let me know what you find. <laughs> I'm working. I'm trying. You go down and you get this Mr. Even Keels all the time with his little fucking sport coat, right? <laughs> you live with that guy for a while, you know? Hey, honey, I'm home. How are you? Yeah, traffic was crazy. Almost lost it, but thank God I had that book on tape, right? Oliver <laughs> Scrabble's always a classic. Always a classic. That's the guy you want, straight across uh, the board, even in the bedroom, right? <laughs> Always making love to you, missionary style. I love you. Your hair is like an ocean. <laughs> Never know when you like to be flipped over and have your face mushed into the pillows. You fucking psycho, right? Uh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> ah, she's right. She's always right. I do, I gotta work on it. I hate having a temper. You know, I don't know if it's hereditary. I don't know if it's part of the country I'm from. I've always snapped, you know? My dad was like that. My dad's the greatest dude I ever met in my life. And he had a temper. Anytime anything broke in the house, 
Five minutes into fixing it, he was bitching about his marriage. <laughs> it was hilarious. He'd see some frog, oh Christ, will you look at that? God damn it, Billy, give me that fucking screwdriver. I swear to God, I don't want the fuck I ever got married for. <laughs> 13 goddamn years of this shit. Oh, you're a bitch, lady! You've been a bitch for years! Give me the fly. Yeah, most guys would have left by now. Most guys would have left by now. That was one of his catchphrases. Most guys would have left by now, and you don't know how fucking good you got it, lady! <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, I thought he was nuts. <clears throat> then I got older, you know, started dating, I realized, eh, this guy's making a lot of good points. <laughs> <laughs> He's not expressing them in the healthiest of ways. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda, I'm kinda like jealous of the way my dad gets to talk to my mom sometimes, you know? Where are all those old school women you can just take your day out on? You know? When did they stop making those angels who just knew it had nothing to do with them? They just sit there and let you blow out the lines, right? What a luxury, right? To fail all day, you come home and download all your insecurities on this other person. What was your day? How the fuck was your day? Not a conversation. Take these kids away from me, give me a goddamn drink. Oh, with the oh, tears. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> then the bra burning generation came in, right? Now you can sit there and listen to their stories all the time. Oh, it's the worst. You know what's the worst is when they're telling you a story and you want to listen, but just what they're talking about, you can't even retain it. <laughs> So I was supposed to go out to lunch with Jennifer. I'm all ready to do that. I show up, she's there with Susan. She knows I hate Susan. I look like shit. Susan's been going to the gym. I mean, at that point, your head is like a newborn baby. You're trying to <laughs> hold it up. You know? You can't. Even if you try to pay attention, you can't. Then you just start staring at their mouth after a while. Like, I can't believe it keeps coming out. This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> He's like, starts fading off. You start thinking about your own life, right? Why don't you take Nebraska giving 28? What the fuck is wrong with it? It's an away game. All of a sudden, our voice goes, it goes up, right? I'm like, God, fuck, that was a question. All right, now what do you do? Can't say yes, can't say no. You gotta come with something neutral. Hey, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What it is, you put one foot in front of the other, and uh, uh. <laughs> halftime adjustments. I uh, got nothing. <laughs> no. I don't want to make my dad out like a psycho, man. My dad's the best dude I know, man. But you know, I understand though. You know, he's like the exact opposite of me. You know, I planned out my life a little more, right? That's why I never got married. Never thought about getting married. It just looked horrific. It looked really difficult. It looked like a lot of them failed. Then if you had a kid, you have that whole weird situation, right? You got this thing that half looks like you, half looks like somebody you used to love and now want to slap the shit out of, right? <laughs> Kids coming up to the walk, you're like, son, just look to the right a little. Let me just kind of cheat. But dad, I want to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Uh... My dad was the exact opposite. <laughs> Fell in love, got married, just started having kids. Had five kids by the time he was 33. Pre-Oprah, pre-Dr. Phil, pre-Chicken Soup for the holy fuck. I got five kids. I don't even know who I am yet. It's a pressure of that. Feeding all those kids, man, I'm telling you. Every three, four days, he would just snap. He'd just snap out of nowhere, you know? Can you pass the salt? Hey, you fucking bitch, how the fuck are you gonna make one bullshit? Totally <laughs> slam the door. Have the car in third gear by the time they got it to the end of the driveway. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> My mother would always do the exact same shit. Just lock the door behind him, turn around, look at the kids, and just be like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just crazy. He's just a crazy person. Man. What is wrong with him? Eight hours later, he'd show up, no apology, she'd have dinner ready. She messed it up, he'd give her a rough time. Christ, you cooked the shit out of it! <laughs> I think I'll be a good dad, though. You know? <laughs> they laughed. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they laughed. <laughs> they said, oh, you're good, Dad, and start laughing. 
Kids before the age of 33. Yeah. Man, that's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> See, I'm still trying to figure out who I am as a person. <laughs> yeah, nigga. At <laughs> 33, five kids. Uh, if I have five kids right now, nigga, I'll be uh, losing my shit every hour. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> uh, running around, asking for shit. Uh, I need shoes, I need clothes. Ah, I can't do this shit. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> nah. Oh, nah, man. man. Yeah, yeah. man. Bill Burr again with some good points, man. Yeah, man, definitely. Definitely. I wonder if he's got some kids. Have kids? I don't know. He doesn't have kids. I don't mm. think he has kids. I don't know if he's mm. married to his wife yet. <laughs> he has a black wife, of course we know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know if they married yet. Well, yeah, they married to say he's his wife. So yeah. I mean, they, they're married. I don't know if he has kids or not. Oh, like the BBs so. running around. BBs. <laughs> Whole bunch of little BBs running around. Little BBs running around. Whole bunch of little bitty BBs running around. Yeah, man. I don't know if he has kids. Yeah. What would it be named? He'd be a great father, though. Yeah. Would he? Woody? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Always on the road, but I mean, hey. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just talking about (laughs) this nigga loser gonna be losing his shit. Like we pre- we know Bill Burr now. Yeah, like we, I think we can make you know what I'm saying. We I feel like yeah. I know Bill Burr. I think I, I feel like if I sat down next to Bill Burr, I could have a conversation with him. Yeah, because I know him. We know him. We're like you know what I'm saying. At least you feel like you know after watching all these stand up. Yeah, you know? I feel like we know him. 